Hello, we're having lemon cheesecake today. Uh, this is something that we have, oh, I don't know, every now and then, but we really, really enjoy it. It's not too sweet. We like the tart or the citrusy flavour of the lemon cheesecake. So we, and we make this, or I, we means I, make this in a raspberry um, quite often as well. And I've got strawberries growing in the backyard, so I'm going to actually try this as a strawberry cheesecake soon. But today we're having lemon. So I'll get started. One whole cup of almond meal. These uh, ingredients may change depending on taste later on as well. I'll see what happens. I should probably just keep my mouth shut and put ingredients in, shouldn't I? That won't happen. Okay, so I've got about a third of a cup of coconut flour or coconut meal. This is finely ground, so a third of a cup of coconut. I need some sweetener and the sweetener for me is nap beer. Uh, I'm going to put in about four teaspoons of sweetener and I'll taste this to see how it is. They're just rough measurements. Nothing's perfect in my house, except for me, of course. Um, and that's all I need here. I need some butter to be able to bind it together and make the base for the cheesecake. Okay. So I've got my dry ingredients in here. I've got clean hands and I've got some melted butter. So I need to mix that together. And I may need more butter depending on um, the consistency of the, the crumble mix. So just mix that through. I'll probably actually need more butter by the looks of it. So it looks like I'm going to need five tablespoons of butter. Now you know from my previous videos I like to wing it a little bit. So, And every recipe I do, no matter how many times I've done this, I'm going to change something. So there's actually five tablespoons of butter in here now. It should be enough. I reserve the right to add more. I'll put the... Um, ingredients at the end of the video as well so if you get sick and tired of watching me why would you but if you do you'll um, have to just fast forward and look for the recipe at the end so I've gone and added some extra butter to this I've decided it actually needs six tablespoons of butter the um, almond meal and especially the coconut meal kind of soaks up a lot of the moisture so I've got six tablespoons of butter in here now. And the texture of this, I want this to hold together nicely but not be too crumbly because I don't want the cake base to fall apart when we put it onto a plate. Because this isn't getting baked either. So I've just got the crumble mixture in here. You could easily use this as a crumble mixture for the top of ras uh, raspberry crumble or blueberry crumble, rhubarb crumble. I think I've got a video for a rhubarb crumble. Alright. So when I put this into a ball, it's a nice tight texture, but it's still, still pliable too. It's not going to fall apart too easily. I want to put this into the base of my baking tin, which I have prepared here earlier. So all I've done is put some baking paper cut to size in the bottom, so it'll just make it easier for me to get the crumble out, the base out later, and given it a light spray as well, purely because I forgot that this wasn't going in the oven. It probably doesn't really need to have a spray, but it's done now. Anyway, so I'm going to put this crumble mixture into the bottom of the pan like so and then I'm just going to pat it down to cover the whole base of the pan okay and that's
that's done. So that's just been patted down to the base of the pan and I'm ready now to put my cheesecake mixture in here, which we now have to prepare. But I think I'll wash my hands first. I forgot to taste this to see if it was okay, but um, I will. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just put that aside for the time being and we'll make up, once I've washed my hands, we'll make up the cheese mixture. Alright, so now I'm ready to do the cheese mixture. So today is lemon cheesecake and I need one block of cheese, which is 250 grams. I use the Philadelphia cheese. You can use a home brand if you want to, but I do like Philadelphia better. Bowl. Alrighty. We have a blue bowl. So we've got one block of Philadelphia cheese at room temperature. Just carve it up a bit to make it easier to mix. I'll need a couple of tablespoons of butter. So about two tablespoons of butter. Remember, I like to wing it. And we need 150 mils of cream. So I use the Western Star cream. It's It's got a really nice flavor to it. We've gone through lots of different cream variations, but this is at our local IGA. We're in a small country town, so we're limited as to what we can have, but we do kind of like this Western Star one. And I've got 150 ml. No, I don't. I lied. I have 250 ml, so I have a whole cup of cream in here. Of course, I'll put the correct ingredients at the end. So there is cream, butter, and Philadelphia cheese. We want some vanilla, about a teaspoon of vanilla. I could get the teaspoon out, but I'm not gonna. Oops. <laughs> so probably a little bit more than a teaspoon of vanilla. And I need some sweetener, don't I? Where is that? So I think I'm going to go with about three teaspoons of the Natvia again. One and three. You have to excuse the clock chimes. Now I'm going to mix that up. another teaspoon of the sweetener in here. I think it'll probably need it. It's good as it is, but I think it'll probably need it once I put the lemon in, just to give it that sweetness and the sourness. So I've got a couple of lemons. I don't know how many I want yet. These are nice soft lemons. I do need the rind of the lemon as well. So I've got my zester and I'm just going to put the lemon rind into the cheese mix and just cut that in half so I've cut a couple of lemon I've uh, cut one lemon in half I've taken the rind off that I'm just going to squeeze the juice of one lemon into here to start with. And it's a nice soft lemon, so it's a, a nice juicy lemon. And I've taken the seeds out too. Oh, no, I haven't. There's always one. So I'll give that a mix, I'll have a little bit of a taste and if it's nice enough then we can stop. So 
So I'm actually going to put a little bit more in here. It's nice as it is. It's only got a hint of lemon though. So I'm going to put a little bit more zest, probably from half a lemon, only because one half's dodgy. So I'll zest half the lemon, but I'll put the juice in of the whole lemon. So I've decided to put in the zest of one and a half lemons and the juice of two lemons. It just didn't have enough flavour for me earlier. Of course, my lemons aren't that big either, so if you had huge ones, you might want less. If you're not an old sourpuss like I am, you probably would want less too. So I'll give that another mix. So I've tried this and it's got a really, really delicious lemony flavour to it. I think I'll hold on to these for when Chris comes home. He likes to lick the beaters. Um, so this is just about ready. The only thing I want to do now is put in some gelatin. So that'll actually help it sit properly. And then you won't have any issues with the cake running when you cut it. So what I've done here, I've got just one teaspoon of gelatin, just a normal gelatin powder. I put one teaspoon in here. You don't need much water. I really only want to dissolve the gelatin. So I've boiled the kettle. And I've probably put in about maybe 100 ml of gelatin and I'll just dissolve that. Probably could have done with less, but it doesn't matter. It'll still set the same. So the gelatin is dissolved. And I don't like putting hot liquid in with the cream, so I'm actually just going to put a little bit of cold water in this. I've just put a little bit of cold water in this. And I'll pour that into a delicious lemon mix. So just beat that up again. And it's ready to pour into the pan. So here's our base that we had prepared earlier. And we have quite a thick mixture of lemon cheesecake mix. And all I'm going to do now is pour that into the pan stick it in the fridge. So this is ready now, just tap it, just to settle it down a little bit. Ready to go into the fridge, I'll leave that in the fridge for probably about an hour or so and you can have a look later. Okay, so I've taken the cake out of the fridge and out of the tin. It's been in the fridge for the past couple of hours and it's set nicely. And I've just topped it with some red currants because that's what I've got currently growing, <laughs> currently growing in my backyard. Um, and they've just come into season, so I just picked these yesterday. So it looks, makes it look a little bit more pretty. Anyway, I've got my slice here. I like red currants. I've got a nice few red currants on top there with a nice dollop of cream. Chris, who doesn't like red currants yet. I've just put some strawberries on top for him. So there you go. Strawberries for Chris. Red currant for me. You can have it without anything on top at all if you like. I was actually going to just shave um, some lemon zest on the top of that, but I had these in the fridge, so we used it. So there we go. Lemon cheesecake. No bake, it's keto, no sugar, it's only got a little bit of nat beer in it, almond meal base with some coconut flour as well. Hope you enjoy it.